a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in Exploring ETFs. Hi everyone, welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra and today we are talking about ETFs for your IRA. And we have talked about tax efficiency of ETFs compared to mutual funds. So that is why they are excellent uh, holdings in your taxable accounts. ETFs also are excellent for your uh, tax sheltered or tax deferred accounts too, even though ETFs are not tax exempt or tax free. So the tax filing uh, deadline is still a few weeks uh, away. So you still have time to contribute to your individual retirement accounts or IRAs. And uh, some investors prefer traditional IRAs. In case of traditional IRAs, contribution can be deducted from your taxable income, but you will owe taxes when you withdraw that money. In case of Roth IRAs, there is no upfront deduction, but withdrawals will be tax-free. Now, these both these IRA accounts, they allow investors to buy stocks, bonds, ETFs, or mutual funds. So looking at ETFs, uh, I think income-paying ETFs are better placed in an NRA because of this tax deferral or tax because tax uh, shelter of income. So when we look at retirement funds, uh, I recommend uh, broad, plain vanilla, high quality funds should be placed in retirement accounts because these are basically supposed to be long-term holdings. So today we are taking a look at three ETFs which not only have a high dividend yield, but in case of, uh, but they also have uh, a high quality. So they look not only at the yields, but also the sustainability of those yields. So the first one we are taking a look at is by Schwab, very popular, got a lot of inflows last year, SCHD. It looks not only um, on the yield, but also the quality and sustainability of those dividends, dividends holds about 100 stocks, very popular with 47 billion in assets and ultra low expense ratio of just six basis points. To learn more about this ETF, you can go to the code page on zax.com, read our research report articles and using the link, you can go to the external home page and learn more about what this ETF does. So, as I mentioned, the index looks at the quality and sustainability of dividends and the stocks are selected on the basis of their fundamental strength relative to peers. Looking at the portfolio, let's take a look. So Broadcom, Verizon, Cisco, Merck, these are the top holdings, uh, has an nice exposure to IT stocks and then financials and consumer staples in the portfolio. The second one that I'm highlighting is by iShares. The ticker symbol is DVY. It looks at high dividend paying stocks, but those stocks, about 100 stocks that have a five year record of paying dividends. So sustainability of dividends is also considered. The same SEC yield, also very popular with 23 billion in assets. And this has an expense ratio of 38 basis points. Again, you can go to the code page and using the link, you can go to iShares web page. So as I mentioned, five year record of paying dividends. Let's take a look at the portfolio too. So Valero, Gilead Sciences, Altria, Exxon Mobil, these are the top holdings. So you will see a slightly different portfolio in this ETF, utilities, financials, and consumer staples are the top sectors here. And this has a lower exposure to information technology. The third ETF that I'm highlighting is by State Street, Spider S&P Dividend ETF, the ticker symbol is SDY. This goes even further and looks at stocks that have increased their dividends 
for at least 20 consecutive years. This also has a nice dividend yield of 2.6%. Also very popular, 23 billion in assets and 35 basis points expense ratio. So again, let's go to the web page. And uh, so this looks at high yield dividend stocks, but screens them for 20 years of consistently uh, raising dividends. So again, uh, very high, high quality companies. So VF Corporations, Walgreens, 3M Company, these are the top holdings. And looking at the exposure, again, different uh, industrials and then financials and consumer staples are the top sector holdings in the CTF. So look at these uh, holdings, sector weights, and see what works best for your portfolio before deciding which ETF you want to invest in. Now, on this slide, I have the comparative performance of these three ETFs. All three had outperformed the S&P 500 index. Uh, uh, the Spider product was the best performer. Uh, in full disclosure, I own the Schwab product in the ETF investor portfolio that I manage, but all three ETFs did quite well last over the past year compared to the S&P 500 index. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out zax.com slash promo for an interesting offer. Also make sure to subscribe to all our videos, our video channel so that you do not miss anything. And I will see you next week.